Hello students. Today I will tell you about the identification of the slide of cerebellum. Now when you will have this slide in your exam, the first thing which you have to think in your mind that cerebellum is having multiple folds and you know that these folds are known as folia. So in this slide you can see that this is one folia. This projection which is visible right now under 4x is a folia. Now if you move the slide you can see more number of folias. So if I will move the slide you can see there is a one more folia adjacent to this. If you will move the slide on the other side you will find there is a one more folia. If you will see more in the slide you will find more folia. So you have to keep this thing in mind that there are multiple folds just like the applications and these folds are known as folia. When you will have the cerebrum, in case of cerebrum they are known as sulci gyri but in case of the cerebellum they are larger enough and they are known as folia. Clear? So you can see that these are the projections and in between the projection you can see that these depressions are there. So these depressions are present between the adjacent two folia. So this is one folia and this is the another folia. Now the second thing which you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever you are having a cerebellum you should uh, uh, find out the three layer. The most identification point is this middle layer. Now you can see here. Now this layer is having the multiple cells but all these cells are arranged in a single layer. Now what is this? This is a Purkinje cell layer. Now if you will see this Purkinje cell under high power you will find that these are the Purkinje cells and you can see that these cells are arranged in one line. Now this is the Purkinje cell. If you will come in the same line you will find another cell then another cell then this is the another cell. So all these cells are like a in a one line and this line represent the arrangement of necklace but this necklace is having only a single layer of the darkly stained cells and these cells if you see in the whole slide they are present in a single line. So these are the Purkinje cell. So you have to identify the Purkinje cell which is a classical or the characteristic feature of the slide of cerebellum. Clear? Then the another thing is which you have to understand in this slide that there are total three layer in cerebellum. There are total three layer in cerebellum which I already told you that one of the middle layer of the cerebellum is known as Purkinje cell layer. Clear? What is that? Purkinje cell layer. Now if you will see this outer layer, the layer which is outside the Purkinje cell is known as molecular layer and the layer which is deep to the Purkinje cell is the granular cell layer. So again when you will see it under the low power, now what you are able to understand now that this is the outer layer, now this outer layer is the molecular layer, then you will find a single layer of the Purkinje cells. Then deep to that you will have these granular cell and in the center these are your fibers which are going to form the white matter of your cerebellum. Clear? So whenever you are having this cerebellum in your exam, my dear students you all have to keep this thing in mind that you have to trace the slide completely and the only feature which you will find is multiple foliage and these folias are appears like a fold and in the slide there are multiple fold you can see that this is the one fold if you will move this this is the another fold if you will move it you will find one more fold so there are multiple folds so this these folds are the characteristic feature of the slide of your cerebellum and the second characteristic feature is presence of this single line of Purkinje cell and how to identify or differentiate the Purkinje cell? Purkinje cell layer is a dark pink color stain layer and all the cells are arranged in a one layer only. That means 
there is a one cell thick line is present like a necklace and this necklace is made up of multiple Purkinje cells which arrange in a single line. Okay. Here also you can see these are the pink dots and these pink dots are present only in a one line. So this is the important thing to understand in this slide. Thank you.